you're going to need to create a file structure for the class. And I've gone through some of this in the other video. Um, you can create it on your desktop. You can create it in your documents, wherever it is, know where you create it. So I'm doing this on Windows. You should know how to create a new folder on a Mac if you're using a Mac. So we're going to create a new folder and we're going to name it Web 105. You could do it with a hyphen, you could do it with an underscore. Please don't use capital letters. Please don't use spaces. It really causes problems on the web server. And then in, <clears throat> inside of Web 105, we're going to create some new folders. Each project that you create will get its own folder. So we're going to call this project, we're going to do a new folder in here, and this project will be intro. And again, no spaces, no capitals. We're just going to call it intro. Inside each project, which will get its own name, we can then open that project. Or we can open it, once we've got this project created, we can actually open it inside of Visual Studio Code. So I'm going to go to Visual Studio Code. And I'm going to open a folder. Actually, I'm going to cancel this. I'm going to add a workspace folder. And I'm going to go into my desktop. And I'm going to select Web 105. And I'm going to hit Add. And now that I've created my Web 105 folder, I can now close this. I have my intro folder, which is my project folder. Each project folder you create will need two subfolders. So you're going to need a styles or CSS, I like to call mine CSS, that will put our style sheets in. And I need another folder. And this is going to be images. And I need a file. And I'm not quite sure why it's doing that. So I'm going to come out to my file explorer. I'm going to go to my desktop, Web 105, intro, and then I have CSS. Oh, images inside CSS. I don't want that. So I need to click here and drag it up to the intro level. That's what I want. Okay. So you should have a Web 105 folder, intro, CSS, images, and index.html. Now you're going to need to take a screenshot of this. There are multiple ways to do that. I like using the, um, there's various tools in Windows that are free. I'm going to use Snip and Sketch. And I'm going to take a new Snip. And you are going to need to just grab this file structure out here. I usually use Snagit. And then we're going to do a save. And I'm going to just save this out to my desktop. And you would name it file structure. And save that. And that's what you'll hand into Canvas to show that you have your file structure set up. For each additional project that we do, you're going to create a folder with those links. What this turns into, when we go out to the internet, when you end up putting your files on the web server, this is what the web server will look like. It will all go into your public HTML folder. And you can see I already have a Web 105 folder set up here. And inside the web folder, I have a demo site. And it has my CSS, images, and pages, because if I get multiple pages, we'll have a third folder there. And then my index.html. And inside of each of these, I have at least one file. So that has my styles.css. in my images folder, 
I have multiple images. And in my pages folder, I have multiple pages. One of the things that people struggle with most is once you've uploaded it, how do you hand in your link? And the common thing that people try to do is hand in the link up here. And that's not what we actually want. So this is the page we need to find on the internet. And I can see that I'm in Web 105 Mary. That will tell you that you need to go to Web 105 Mary. Dot .mccdgm .net. So this will be your login address, which should be your Canvas address plus the semester and year. So like if I were doing it with my Canvas address, it would be mingle 7 sp 21 for spring of 21. And so when you go into hand in the link, you'd go into the index page and then click on whatever folder you need. This would be the demo site folder. And you can see that it moves through each of the different pages. Each one has different images. And when you go to look at the code on any of the pages I've created, you can right click and choose view page source. And that will show you the source code on that page. So you can see how I created anything. And that will take me also to your styles. And so you can see the style sheet that I created. We won't get this advanced for a few more weeks, but I do want you to see why we set up the layout that way. It keeps the organization of your file structure significantly simpler.